So now the question is how to upwire your brain. So now you know that your brains like to stay the same and that it wants to, you know, be the same because it's safe and secure. But I know that most of us want to upgrade our lives and become a better version of ourselves every day, obviously, in all aspects, whether it's financially, fitness wise, whatever it may be. So how do you do it? That's the main question. Well, for this, this takes in a little bit of effort of conscious action. You got to identify times when you're automatically going into certain habits and thoughts. For example, when you brush your teeth in the morning, you don't really think about it. You just brush your teeth. You don't think like I have to start from the extreme left tooth to the right tooth. You don't do that, right? You just brush your teeth. Similarly, when you're driving, it's the same thing. You just drive. You don't think about how the clutch and the accelerator or the gear shifting. You don't think into it. It just happens. So this is good for certain habits like these. But in other areas where, for example, when you're responding to certain situations, and let's assume that you're a person that gets angry easily. This is where you have to practice conscious control. So many experts refer to these moments of conscious control as meta moments. For example, if somebody says something that really annoys you, you always have a choice to react. Do you have to get angry and annoyed with them? Or can you consciously down-regulate that anger and choose better words and just ignore them? Which do you think would be better for you, long term? Immediately you might feel good getting angry and giving them a piece of your mind. But long term, is it really worth it? Do you really want to go through that stress response? I'm assuming no. Similarly, if you're somebody that unconsciously has to smoke a cigarette every time you're drinking tea, which is a common habit that we've seen with a lot of our clients, try avoiding tea. Take out something that causes you to want to smoke or keep an alarm for that time. Generally, four to six is the time that we've seen a lot of smokers smoke cigarettes. So keep an alarm that motivates you to not smoke and take out the triggers such as maybe hanging out, hanging out with your friends during that time or maybe even consuming tea. So this is the only way we can improve yourself and take out unnecessary habits one step at a time. Of course, every individual is unique. If you want to upgrade your mind and unleash your maximum potential, DM us and we'll take care of the rest.